The immune system, the microbiome, and genetics. The combination of these three systems has a tremendous impact on health and wellness, and science is still unraveling the mysteries of how they interact. Science is currently undergoing a revolution, and that revolution spilled over into medicine. We're actually starting to see that the bacteria that colonized our body, and the fungi, and the viruses, all of the microorganisms that live inside us, and there are 40 trillion of those, actually play a substantial role in shaping our health. The Duchessois Family Institute will allow scientists to work in ways they haven't been able to before. It will blend hard science and research, big data analysis, and commercialization of products to help people get healthy and stay healthy. What one sees in this gift is uh, bringing together uh, new strands of fundamental uh, research and understanding about biology and understanding the microbiome, understanding the human immune system, uh, and how that connects to human health. Well, I think it's a huge opportunity. It's, you know, what the Duchessois wanted was um, really to not just increase lifespan. Their, their hope is to increase the quality of life. And I think that that's uh, spot on in terms of goals. Resources from across the university and affiliated labs will all play a role in this important research. Collaboration between these entities will be central to the success of the Institute. But when you have different departments, when you have different faculty, and then when you bring in different organizations, um, different minds, I think that the, the, the possibilities are endless. Big data is an area where the University of Chicago is a leader, and data analysis for this type of research is key. Scientists will be looking at lots of information that will need to be easily accessible across multiple disciplines and platforms. This will transform analysis of healthy and sick people and their systems. One of the most exciting things about this initiative is the chance to collect lots of data um, in many different dimensions, in many different areas that we can all bring together. And that's going to, for the first time, allow us to really understand uh, uh, health and wellness and disease in multiple dimensions. So we've never really focused on what works. We focused on what doesn't work and tried to fix it. So in that sense, it's, a, it's truly a, a game changer. Uh, and could change the way healthcare is delivered. This research has the ability to benefit everyone, from the youngest baby to the oldest adult. It can reshape how our bodies react to their environment. The goal is to understand the microbiome from the earliest standpoints, how it affects how the immune system develops. My work is focused on babies. How do babies develop? Um, how does our diet affect that? Um, and all the way through disease. How can we prevent disease, predict disease, um, uh, length in life, um, and not just life, but uh, health and the ability of families to thrive. Diseases that we don't understand, like, like autism and Alzheimer's and uh, resilience to infection and other things that we can build up their microbiomes to a point where uh, they enjoy not only a better quality of life, um, but can maintain their health overall uh, better. Our microbiome lives in us and on us. 40 trillion microorganisms that collectively make up about five pounds of our weight. This microbiome impacts just about every aspect of our lives, many that scientists are still working to understand. So this involves a, a sum of elements. And, and I think it's only by integrating all these elements that we will be able to understand complex disorders, we will be able to understand what wellness means and what risk factors means. And once we understand that, I think we can make huge progress in terms of how to prevent disease, but also if we start to understand what are the key circuits that go wrong in the context of disease, one can identify checkpoints that can be the target of therapies. That's why the Duchess Waffle Family Institute is so important as it brings together scientists, researchers, and clinicians from many areas to work on unlocking these mysteries. So this is transformative in every sense of the word, and our hope is that the University of Chicago will be the leading institution in microbiome sciences and discovery and understanding of human health uh, you know, uh, throughout the world. This new science could impact Alzheimer's disease, could help prevent obesity, cure depression, cancer, 
and many more afflictions that cause tremendous suffering. The idea that our children are growing up in a world where their medical records from day one could have this kind of much more detailed information and you would know their sensitivities or the things that maybe set them back a little bit or when there's a moment of weakness, how do you compensate for it? The ability to truly revolutionize medicine is something clinicians and researchers dream about and it's a dream that could be closer to reality with the start of the Duchess Wa Family Institute. Man, I, I'm, I'm thrilled to be part of this. Uh, I, I, I'm, I feel like I'm in the right place at the right time. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to the kinds of things that will happen 